56 yarder. It's got no, it does not have the leg. And Chris Davis takes him to the back of the end zone. He'll run it out to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Christmas tree already up there. That's good work. It's nice. A lot of happiness there, but it's, it's time to talk about the elephant in the room concerning that big Auburn win Saturday night. Johnny, it almost doesn't seem real. This Alabama team doesn't lose, and when they do, somehow they still seem to win. Not this time. Marty Smith from a Tuscaloosa we just don't recognize. When the sweetness of a dream intersects the abruptness of a nightmare, the result is pure shock. Auburn's going to win the football game! And Sunday in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the dream is faint, and both the nightmare and the shock are very, very real. It was bad. It was really bad. I, uh, you know, I'm like most of the rest of all uh, Alabama fans, you know, I was wanting to die, but I can't leave my wife. We've been together so, for so long. Alabama's first in my life, my wife and family's second. Oh, my God. I mean, a blessing from heaven like they did the week before. Auburn cornerback Chris Davis now has a chair at the head table of Iron Bowl Lord and will haunt Tuscaloosa forever. This, I did not see this happening. I couldn't do nothing but hit the floor. To see that happen right there, it was kind of, I wanted to break down and cry. It's disheartening. I mean, it was really just deflating. It was just rough, to be honest. Why is it rough? We hate Auburn. I mean, Tuscaloosa, that's the biggest rivalry of the year. I woke up this morning, and I kind of felt like I was in a bad dream. Like, it, it, this belief, you know, it's, it's just one of those things where you're like, is this even real? Like, did last night really happen? Saturday's loss seems to signal an end to Alabama's national championship hopes, but that's not the most notable fallout. That distinction goes to death threats against place kicker Kate Foster, who missed two field goals Saturday and had another one blocked. About those death threats, lifelong Tide fan Richard Brantley told us, quote, they're not Alabama fans, they're idiots. And you can tell them to come see me, by God. In Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Marty Smith, ESPN.